Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week. This week we'll cover how to create section heads with wipeouts behind it. In Revit you can use, an, uh, let's say, a callout like an elevation tag or a callout tag. You can white out without a problem because the head does not rotate. Section heads are different. They actually rotate with the direction of the section. So with this, if the head rotates, so does the wipeout. So it either covers up your line or it rotates the line and you get some weird result. So how can I make it white out like this and have it available in both directions? That's what we're going to cover today. How to create a white up wipeout for your section tags. Now I'm going to hit control tab here and I'm going to go back to another family and you'll see here it is. Now it's actually an interesting little trick but a couple things happen here. I'm going to roll over the, you see this text or uh, the labels that pop up and I also roll in here and I click on this you'll see that horizontal line. I want you to notice it's not a line it's text. It's underscores. In these tags the text will rotate automatically but the lines do not so that's where the problem comes in. Lines, the line does not rotate or it stays in the direction that it is. So if I do a vertical this line, if it was a line, would crash through my text by converting it to underscore and if you're not familiar with that is you can start the text command text and then you hit its shift hyphen or it's the underscore command the underscore keystroke so it's text pick a, a font that works for you as far as the line thickness and make as many of them as you need and place it in so we have the whiteout which is sitting right here okay you can see masking region sorry I've used whiteout I'm an old AutoCAD guy, right? So it says masking region, and then we want to put a line across it. That's the real trick. So when I load into the project now, it's in here. Now I'll take my section, and I'll, like so, I'll grab it. And let me hit undo once or twice, and you'll see what happens. So uh, you'll see this is how they come out the box, right? But you'll notice out the box, it's not whiting out. Let me CS this, create similar, and I'll draw one right here. So you'll notice that the actual heads are uh, crashing through. We're not going to worry about that warning. Through here. Now, some people just grab it and they'll slide it out the way, and that's fine. Uh, but other people say, hey, I want to be able to white it out. So we can add it in. It just takes that extra step of adding the wipe wipeout and also adding the underscores. And here's why. See how that line rotates? We can see through it. If I was coming here and grab this section, now that we've created the head with the wipeout, and with the, I guess, the text line, then we can go edit type. Now I'll go duplicate, and I'm going to call this, let's say, ssc hyphen section, uh, just so we know it's different. I hit OK. You'll see ssc section. Now, see what it says section tag? I click on it, and it's going to come up, and it actually it switches here. You see how it opened up? So now it says, well, what head do you want? So I've come in here, and I can either create a new one, duplicate it, okay, I can call it SSC section head, okay, if I want to. So you see it's got a name, and then I tell it what head I want. I'll drop this down, I'll say I want my SSC section head, there it is. And then you'll see I add whatever tail I want to add in, and what it is, you'll see it's section head. Now when I hit OK on that, you'll notice that my SSC section is now using the section head right? and actually and tail because when you click here see it opens up another box you don't see that because they're right on top of each other but hopefully that clarifies what's happening it's given us the ability to in this area create our own let's rename it we said section head and tail because we may have a different tail also we hit OK on that so we pick a different tail that works for us and let's just say like like so hit OK so now it's pulling our section head and tail for that section so we hit OK so now you'll notice how it jumped up in size and here is ours you notice it has a wipeout and a bigger tail on it now being that we have this set up I can then take this one and notice it's using the generic when it comes with Revit I can drop it down and say no use our SSC section and you'll see how all the graphics update so that's an easy way to to adjust to create your own uh, section heads. If you, uh, you know, hope that helps. 
So that is the tip of the week, was creating your own section heads and making them work for you. If you have any questions, comments, or need help with training, etc., give us a call or check us out on the web at kedtechseminars.com or www.thebimguys.com. Thank you.